Thank you, Rainer Barke, esteemed guests from around the world, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. The second Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue is coming to an end. The past two days have been dedicated to high-level discussions, expert workshops, and numerous background talks. We would like to thank you all for coming to Berlin again in order to discuss the topic of energy transition and making the 2016 edition of this conference another great success. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the midst of far-reaching changes. Some describe it as a new industrial revolution, and this morning I was told Amori Lovins aptly spoke of reinventing the fire. Indeed, we deliberately organized the 2016 Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue right after Paris COP21 in order to offer you a platform to discuss just that how to reinvent the fire. After the great success in Paris, now is not the time to sit back, now is the time to act. Concrete measures have to be taken and be taken quickly. As an example, let me illustrate what my government is planning for the road ahead. Last week, our cabinet of ministers formally approved the Paris Agreement. We are aware that our Energiewende comes along with major changes in traditional structures, be it the liberalization of markets or the phasing out of long-use power plants, in particular coal-fired ones. We are in the process of reinforcing our grid and have successfully triggered the rapid digitalization of our energy sector. This summer, we will review our law on renewable energy in order to integrate renewable energy into a competitive energy market setting. Our instrument of choice will be tenders to increase the share of renewables in Germany's electricity supply from 33 today to 80% in 2050. Ladies and gentlemen, however, we are well aware that the measures which work in Germany in order to implement our Energiewende might not necessarily work in Nigeria, Indi India, Peru or elsewhere to enable your shift to renewable energies. The sustainable de development goals are our guidelines globally. Goal 7, sustainable energy for all, acknowledges the central importance for energy for social and economic development. Yesterday, Federal Minister Steinmeier mentioned a number of promising examples how to provide, provide energy to all parts of the world. The shift towards renewables is certainly no longer a luxury product of industrialized countries. The key task at hand here is to find measured, measures that are suitable to each individual country. During my recent visit to Nigeria, I was impressed by the variety of power solutions that were in place there. For example, small decentralized grids and hybrid power stations. For some states, I think it will be even more important to find ways to finance energy projects. Certainly, industrialized countries can contribute, for example, by reconsidering our development financing tools. But the biggest challenge, and the most sustainable one, will be for states, especially developing states, to generate revenue from the energy transition process and to create an environment where participating in the energy transition process is profitable also for private firms. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the German federal government initiated the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue, to provide an international platform for the global energy elite to meet once a year to shape concepts for an intelligent energy transition. From my talks and from what I have heard from you, I believe that we have succeeded. Last but not least, as State Secretary for Foreign Affairs, allow me to add that energy transition 
is also our chance to ease a great deal of international tensions. Disrupted supply is a constant threat for countries relying on fossil fuels imports. Consumption of fossil fuels is too often linked to ruthless exploitation of resources and workforce, resulting in social tensions and violence. And finally, if we don't manage climate change, the migratory movements we see today will only be a small precursor of what we will witness in 40 or 50 years, with all the associated risks to development and stability. The global energy wende is therefore our common homework. Our conference here in Berlin was one of the most important steps post Paris in moving from negotiation to action. As this conference ends, allow me to express my gratitude to the Federal, Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Energy for co-organizing this event. State Secretary Barke is here and thank you, Rainer, very much. Furthermore, this conference would not have been possible without the support given by the German Energy Federation, German Renewable Energy Federation, BEE, and the German Solar Association, BSW Solar, and the Eclarion GmbH. It is an excellent example for the cooperation of industry and government working toward common goals. Thank you very much. Although this conference ends, our dialogue continues, and as a token of our continued dialogue, we have come up with the Energiewende couch, the sofa that you see standing here. Many of you sat down to talk about issues of power transition in your country. Your statements were posted on Twitter and have inspired quite some discussions. We will continue to send the sofa at conferences around the world in order to offer you an opportunity to engage with the online community, a mostly young public interested and involved in the cause of energy transition and renewables. Finally, let me give you a big thank you, esteemed participants from around the world, for coming to Berlin, joining the dialogue, and taking an active role in a truly global revolution. The dialogue will continue. We are looking forward to welcoming you all again in 2017 to the third Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue in the German Foreign Office. Thank you very much.